Hey everybody, and Muffos, what the hell is going down? Stonely here with my boy Hellhound and Verdi Thunder, aka Alicia Greymane, I believe is the name for in-game. Anyway, dudes, we are on Age of Wyverns here on Ragnarok. If you guys want to join, search for Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list here on Xbox One. We are also cross-compatible with the Windows 10 version, not Steam. Uh, so if you bought it through Steam, you can't join, but... Uh, anyway, dudes, we are a 24-7 Atrado Ragnarok PvE RPG oriented. The max player level is 300. Uh, we've got rewards at certain levels. Cool stuff like that. Um, the max wild dino level is pretty high. I, don't, I think it's like at least like 500 something, maybe 600. Um, I don't know. Anyway, dudes, I just want to show you guys today how to spawn in an Alpha Carno and uh, kind of go over some of the things that Carnos do. Um, so some of the things a regular Carno might be able to do, I'm not sure if the Alpha can do. I, I mean, I imagine it would, but I'm not sure if the Alpha like drops eggs and stuff like that. You obviously can't tame this, so if you guys want an Alpha Carno, man, these things look like a freaking the devil in the dino, dino form with their little horns. They're all red. Anyway, if you guys want to uh, spawn in a, a Carno, I'm going to go over here and show you how because uh, Carno's actually, well, Alpha Carno, if you're spawning in any Alpha in the game, they come in uh, wild, so you're going to want to be careful. I like to go in God mode and uh, creative mode as well and fly into the air here and kind of go to an, a secluded area where it doesn't have a lot of room to run around. Uh, if you go in the air, then it drops and it won't be able to kill you. So, anyway, dudes, the first command I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys three commands. Uh, the first one is a custom level tamed. But since it's an alpha, the tamed part isn't going to work. But at least you'll get a custom level, and then we're going to have to force tame it. So, go ahead and do uh, cheat space GM summon space quotation mega carno underscore character underscore BP underscore C quotation space uh, whatever level you want so if I type 500 it's actually gonna give me a 50% tame bonus added on to 500 so half of that's 250 so it'll be 500 plus 250 which is 750 uh, no matter what number you type in it's gonna give you a 50% tame bonus added to that number so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in uh, level 750 here oh Oh, never mind. That's weird. It didn't do the uh, tame bonus on this one, but it did it on the other ones. Okay, it's trying to eat me. Maybe whenever I force tame it, it'll give the tame bonus? I don't know. Uh, anyway, the uh, tame bonus, I mean, the force tame is cheat space. Force tame. Hopefully you can do that without it killing you. Yeah, it gave me the, the uh, tame bonus whenever I force tamed it, so... Uh, and when it's force tame, you can actually hop on and ride it without having a saddle. But for the sake of video and showing you guys as much as I can about the Carno, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to spawn in a Carno saddle with an uh, admin command. So it's going to be cheat space GFI space Carno space 1 space 0 space 0. Now this is going to give you a primitive Carno saddle. As you can see to the left of the screen, primitive Carno saddle. Now, uh, if we go back to that first zero we typed in and we put 100 instead, it'll give us an Ascendant Saddle, as you can see to the uh, left of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and equip this with the Ascendant Saddle, just because I have it. And then I'm going to ride it back over here for Verde Thunder to claim, and we're going to show these bad boys off. These are extremely high level, and... Uh, Hopefully we don't die. I think we'll be all right. Let's see. We're just gonna unclaim this, and hopefully he claims it before anybody dies. Okay, he got it. All right. So the Alpha Carno apparently uh, has a headbutt attack. So it's got the main attack here that he's doing. I'm on console, so uh, it's right trigger for me the main attack. Let's see if I can show that off. I mean, attack. With all this red smoke around it as an alpha, it's kind of hard to see. But you can see uh, Hellhound doing it over here. And then apparently it has a headbutt with left trigger. 
that knocks back targets. So um, we're gonna run out here, possibly into the swamp. Yeah, I think we'll take them into the swamp. Hopefully, we don't get like poisoned or baryonyx throws us off or something. Actually, I forgot about baryonyx. I'm kind of nervous about going in there. Oh well, we're gonna go in there anyway. So. Um, the headbutt attack is really useful if you're standing near a cliff, I think. Jesus, this is hard to see. Target orbital. The red smoke on these alphas is ridiculous. Okay, here is a stego. Oh, I think I lost my pack. I'm not sure where my bros went. You know, I'm going to knock back the stego, see how far it knocks it back. And I'm not sure how big of a dino it actually has to be to be knocked back. Uh, seems to be knocking the Stego back a little bit and doing 328 damage. 164 damage, actually. But, uh, okay, it's doing 164 damage per knockback. And 164 per bite. So it does the same amount of damage, it just knocks them back as well. So I'm guessing it uses more stamina to do that. Um, I did infinite stat these for the sake of the video. But uh, just keep that in mind. I'm going to assume that the headbutt takes more stamina since it does the same amount of damage. Now, uh, these guys are just tameable through any old, you know, the old-fashioned way of knocking stuff out. And uh, holy crap, we've got Capros. Oh my goodness. We're taking a lot of damage here. I can't really tell what's going on. So much alpha smoke, Jesus Christ. Anyway, the taming of these guys is just the old-fashioned way of knocking them out and feeding them uh, some meat or whatever. Let me go into orbital camera. That's so, like, flustering. Um, anyway, they do damage thatch, greenhouse, and wood. So, um, if you have some stone, you're protected from these bad boys. Although, I can't say that about Giga. Unfortunately, Giga has destroyed freaking everything. And uh, kind of sucks because my desert villa is like right next to a giga spawn apparently. Um, anyway, it's immobilized by chain bola, plant uh, Y traps, and large bear traps. It's carryable by Quetz, Wyvern, and the giant squid. And uh, I mean, I don't know, I think that's pretty much all you need to know about it. It drops hide, keratin, raw meat, and raw prime meat. So, other than that, this isn't too much of a like special dino it's kind of cool to have an alpha like this just because it's cool to have an alpha everything but um there's not really like anything special about this it's kind of a decent early game tame to have to defend yourself it's a little bit better than a raptor um, i'm not sure about a pack of raptors i would actually like to uh try that out i mean a regular pack of raptors sure it's probably not going to take it on but Maybe like, I wonder, I wonder what one Alpha Raptor versus one Alpha Carno would be like. That seems pretty interesting. I might try that out in the arena. Um, anyway, yeah, they're smaller than T-Rexes, so they don't do as much damage. I think they do more damage than a Raptor. But uh, other than that, there's really not much else to know about these guys. Other than their eggs, I do think their eggs are somewhat important. I um, can't remember what they tame. Man, it's so hard to see here. I'm gonna go try and find something to kill. So let's see what a Carno egg makes kibble for. Trikes, dire wolves, and dire bears. So. Yeah, um, I guess Carnos are probably most important for their eggs, which I don't even think the uh, Alpha drops eggs, like I said, so this is kind of just like an extra little video I'm making here. Uh, Jesus Christ. It's Alpha smoke. But yeah, so I guess it's kind of important to have kibble for the trikes. That's kind of an important thing to have for early game. Uh, later on, you're probably going to want like a Bronco or something, but the tracks are pretty cool, especially with the new revamp of them, with the new TLC 2 patch. Um, dire Wolves, of course, they're really strong, especially in a pack with the TLC 1 patch, especially. And uh, Dire Bears got the buff. They got buffed in the uh, 
or was a TLC one patch as well. So each one of the dinosaurs that this makes kibble for are pretty important to have. So, uh, and I guess it wouldn't hurt to have one of these bad boys defending your base, especially if it's an alpha like this. I don't even, I can't see anything. This is horrible. Anyway, dudes, I'm not gonna touch, I'm not gonna talk anymore about this. That's all you need to know. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of rambling now because there's not much to know about the Carno. Uh, anyway, dudes, hopefully you got something out of this video and have fun with your Alpha Carno if you decide to spawn yours in. Let me know what you guys do with your, what kind of levels do you spawn in? I just spawn in something simple like, I know 750 is still kind of a higher level, but I don't know, like, what's the highest level you guys are doing? Some people tell me they're doing like 10 billion. I don't even. I don't even know what the highest level you can do is. Um, yeah. All right. Anyway, dudes. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys on a flip flop.